everybody and welcome to LT Outdoors. Uh, today I'm actually here at the local racetrack. Um, they, they just recently had some dirt bike races here. I don't know if you can tell in the background there, but yeah, I got a real nice track here. And they did dirt dirt rate, dirt bike races and we have the fairgrounds just up the hill here and they do all kinds of events back here behind me uh, during the fair too. So get a lot of people up through here. This is a big long stretch of nice grass here and people tend to sit on this grass to watch the races and stuff. There's another big patch up the hill. So I'm going to do a little metal detecting. I'm feeling a little bit better today. So uh, yeah, I'm going to see what I can find. Actually hoping to get some bottle caps today. So uh, from uh, if you guys watched my videos of me ma uh, making lures, catching fish with those bottle cap lures, I got to get more. So I'm actually on the hunt for bottle caps and pull tabs, which is something I never thought I'd say. But yeah, stay tuned guys. This should be a good one. I'm hoping to find a bunch of neat stuff. So thanks for watching. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Seeing this just laying on the ground here. CWF Weekend Pass. Hmm. January 20th. I'm not sure what the CWF stands for. Unless it's countywide fair. <laughs> that might be it. Yeah, neat little button anyway. Going crazy on this one. Hmm. Oh, it's a dime. Nineteen looks like a eighty five. First time of the day. This might be a copper penny or a dime. Yep, copper penny. 1968. Cool. That's the oldest one yet. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is a button from the 1999 Michigan Cat 300, Lincoln, Michigan. Oh, maybe a snowmobile race or ain't that something? Yeah, so that's two pins today. This is an old one, so that's that's cool. And maybe we'll find some more. Hmm. This is kind of an odd can. It says it's canned under the Coca-Cola bottle company, but it says Ethiopia here. <laughs> and then it's got some weird symbols here, which I'm guessing is maybe their writing. Crazy. <laughs> I've never dug up a foreign can. Ain't that something? Hey, that's the first for the day. Quarter. West Virginia quarter. So it's one of our state ones. 2000, I think it's 2005. Cool. I'll take it. I'm getting a pretty high hit on this one. That might be a penny or a dime. Another dime. Cool. 86. <laughs> Sweet. Nope. Oh, cool. One of my favorite things to find. It's a toy. I always love digging these toys. Nothing special. Made in China, but... You know what? That'll go in my collection because I don't care big or small. I love all these toys. Yeah, very neat. My bottle cap hunt wasn't going so well. Go figure. When I want to find trash, I just can't find it. So decided to come to the local park here. Um, I did some. Pr I did pretty good here earlier in the season. So 
yeah, just gonna wander around, see if I can find something else good in here. So stay tuned, guys, see what we find. Dime. Eh, 98. That's usually a good sign ringing up as a quarter here. And usually when it rings that in the park, it's, yep, it's usually a quarter. <laughs> Another state one. Ohio, 2002. It says 1808 on it and it shows uh, it's got a spaceman on there. Cool birthplace of aviation pioneers I should have kept filming where I found that Lincoln scent there it appears we got more than one here might have a little bit of a coin spill yep there she is eh, just a 92 cool though Penny. At least it's a copper one, so it's a good looking one. 1981. Cool. Getting a low tone here. Oh, see, this is why you got to be careful. Make sure your kids are wearing shoes at the parks or wherever because it seems to me every single park and sandbox has a rusty nail. Scary. Oh, don't even have to dig for that. <laughs> right up top. It's funny though how a lot of times we don't even see these. Oh, I'll be darned. That's cool. There you go, coins for amateurs. That's one that you guys reminded or rem, uh, yeah reminded me of that. I forgot was out. It's the uh, Lincoln Sense, the special ones from 2009. And uh, probably can't see on there, but that's Lincoln standing next to the monument. Very cool. That's the first one of these I've ever found with the detector. <laughs> ah, cool. Nickel. Actually thought that might have been a pull tab. like an older one. Oh, it's a weedy. Ain't that something? I haven't dug one of these in a while. It's like a 45. I'll have to clean her up when I get home, but that's weedy. Hmm. I wasn't recording this because I thought it was going to be another pull tab, but ended up being, uh, can't tell if it's got a stone in it. Probably just cheap, but yeah, it's a cute little Cute little earring, I believe, or maybe a pendant. Yeah, that's the first piece of jewelry I found today. So, yeah, that's cool. I'll clean it up when I get home. I always love finding any jewelry. I don't care if it's cheap or not. It's kind of heavy, though. So who knows? Might be silver. Cool. <laughs> There's a penny, I just seen it. Oh, that ain't a penny. Is it a nickel? Yep. I'll be darn. First nickel of the day. Yeah, I just stepped outside the park here. Decided to check in the grass a bit. Yeah, 1981 nickel. Cool. Always got to recheck the holes. 
I should know better, but that same hole I just dug the nickel out of, I'm still getting another hit right here. Hey, a quarter too. A nickel and a quarter. I think that's the first time I ever found those two together. 1966. So it's an old one. Cool. That was pretty deep too for a quarter. Better recheck. Yep, that's it. I'll take it though. 30 cents out of one hole. Hey everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, it's crazy. I wanted to go for something as dumb as a bottle cap and I couldn't find but just the one and lots of squish ones. But yeah, um, I found some neat things though, surprisingly, especially because I wasn't really out, you know, trying to hit it hard or nothing. But yeah, back felt a little better today, so I figured I better get out and make use of it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, continue watching. I got lots to come. So appreciate you guys and all the support is well loved. So <laughs> you guys have a good day.